Hello, everyone. Today's poem is Zhou Nan, Fu Yi, by Yi Ming, a Zhou Wind poem from the Book of Songs. This poem, Fu Yi, could be the most simple and boring poem among the three hundred poems in the Book of Songs. It's just like a simple. Folk songs.、Uh, it used the very simple wording, repeating itself for many times. And basically, it's about、uh, simple things: the trees, grass, river, clouds. And in this poem, it's quite simple. Everything it depicts is just about one、uh, plant, Fu Yi. Uh, we don't know what type of plant it is.、Uh, basically, there's two sayings today. One is the salmon coeces.、Uh, it's a very、uh, healthy herbal food in China and through a lot of the countries. Quite similar, like the pearl barley, but it's two different two different things. And the, another saying is, "Uh, 车前草 in Chinese, 车前草 in English, plantago." Till today, more and more people believe it's the salmon coeces or 薏仁 We call it in Chinese today. And、uh, there's a possibility that the the、uh, salmon coeces we saw today in China is a little bit di- bit. Different from that of in the Zhou Dynasty, because、uh, in the Han Dynasty, roughly one、uh, thousand years after Zhou Dynasty,、uh, a very famous general he、uh, brought a lot of the salmon coeces from、uh, Wenlan、uh, back to the、uh, mainland China. Or to the Yellow River area, and、uh, it's very clearly、uh, noted in the history book that the salmon coeces from it went none in that time is part of the China, the or the southern salmon、uh, coeces is much bigger、uh, than the local salmon coeces, and uh, so uh, most probably. Uh, the salmon coeces、uh, we eat, we saw today, is the southern、uh, breed. Before we go to this boring poem,、uh, keep in mind, it could be most probably from the folk song of the Zhou State, and the folk songs, simple and natural. It's quite ordinary. No matter the folk songs in Europe, in、uh, Asia, other places in Asia, in Africa, it's all very simple, repeating, and which the nature、uh, plant animals or the clouds or、uh, vast oceans. So basically, that's the folk songs. And secondly, it's a song. So most of the time in the Zhou Dynasty, they are sent, and most probably with the musical instrument、uh, accompanied. So let's take an example: the very famous English folk song, Scarborough Fair. So it's a very beautiful, nice folk song for sure,、uh, no doubt about that. But imagine if you remove the music part, you just look at that lyrics. So without music, the Scarborough Fair、uh, looks not so great, and、uh, it's just a looks like an ordinary poem. So when we reading this poem. One thing we should know that without the music, a lot of the、uh, feelings and the sensations could be lost 
or we cannot easily、uh, touch with. The last thing we should know that this poem or this song is a song about harvest. A bunch of women harvest in the field, so it's most probably it could be seen when they are doing their harvest, just like the songs by the woodsmiths, like the songs by the boatman saying "bakaro." Now let's look at the poem. The background picture is the field of salmon coices, and I will read the whole poem first, and you can try to feel how the folk song like poem it is. Fui, 一名，采采浮矣，薄言采之。采采浮矣，薄言有之。采采浮矣，薄言多之；采采浮矣，薄言落之；采采浮矣，薄言竭之；采采浮矣，薄言斜之。How do you feel that? It's quite boring, right? But just think about that. If this song. Uh, this poem has the music. It's it was sent by a bunch of women in the field. It may be quite different, isn't it? 采采浮矣，薄言采之。Oh, so many, so lovely the salmon coices is. Let's harvest it, harvest them quickly. 采采 means the so many, so many types, so many colors. It describes the,、uh, it's a big. It looks like a big harvest of salmon coices. It's so prosperous in the field. 薄言采之 in the general、uh, explanation, 薄言 means nothing. But my、uh, explanation is 薄 means quickly,、uh, very. Hurriedly, so 薄言 means the people, or they say, hurry up and、uh, take it, harvest it. 采采浮矣，薄言有之。So just one word difference from the first pair of sentence. 有 means take it, the same meaning as 采 Ah,、uh, so the first paragraph basically, ah.、Uh, It's with two pair of sentence, but they are telling the same thing. The salmon coices field is so colorful and so prosperous. It looks like a good harvest. They say, "Let's take the、uh, seeds. Let's harvest it quickly, hurriedly." Too simple, right? Of course, when you are doing your duty, your hand was full occupied, and、uh, you are singing a song at the same time. That song should be simple and、uh, beautiful enough, and、uh, in that way, singing the song, doing the work, will not、uh, conflict it with each other, and. On the contrary, singing the song will help you to release your、uh, tiresome and make you do your work much better, much faster. Okay, the second paragraph is basically the quite similar. 采采浮矣，薄言多之。采采采浮矣，薄言落之。To Total two characters difference from the first paragraph. 多 means to take to、uh, reach out your arm and take it back. So that's for it means you are、uh, harvest the seed of the salmon coices, and、uh, it's quite natural because the、uh, 
uh, salmon coeces plant, basically uh, the height will reach above the shoulders or head. So you need to reach out your arm to take the seed back. Bo yan, luo means to you use your hand to grasp the uh, stem of the uh, salmon coeces, and then you strip all the seeds off. And from the two verb here used, duo zhi and uh, luo zhi, we know uh, most probably it's not plantago, it's salmon coeces. Because with the plantago, you, you should uh, sit on the ground or your knee on the ground to take that seeds. And the seeds is too small. Uh, with whole day's work, you cannot have too much of the seeds. But with the salmon coeces, it's different. Let's see the third paragraph. Tai Tai Fu Yi Bo Yin Jie Zhi Tai Tai Fu Yi Bo Yin Xie Zhi Jie and Xie basically is almost identical. It means you use your claws to uh, hold the seeds that harvested. Jie use your hand to t uh, hold the lower uh, part of your claws and make uh, uh, turns up and make it like a parcel, like a basket. The things described in the three paragraph actually has a time sequence. The first paragraph, they're still not uh, in the field. They look to the salmon coeces field in a distance. It looks so colorful, so prosperous, and it makes them feel happy because of the harvest. And the second paragraph is about the harvest. They, they do the hard job, but because of the harvest and because of the sun, they singing. It's such a happy and enjoyable uh, time. And the third paragraph is about, it's about the end of the day. They are uh, full loaded with the harvest, uh, with their usual clothes, and they are about to going back. So what a wonderful day! Most of the people, even the most of the Chinese today, is hardly to imagine how happy it is and how the real situation it is in this poem. But everybody has a hometown, and uh, every hometown has its own sayings, like the Scarborough Fair uh, put it, parsley, sage, rosemary, and sign. If you are an English person, you live in that uh, place in your Childhood. Whenever somebody saying the parsley, sage, rosemary, it's something associated with deeply with your hometown and with the most happy hours in your lifetime. That's the things about of this very very simple. Poem, this folk song in the Zhou Wind. Okay, that's for today, and uh, I wish you enjoy it. Bye bye.